Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. I can't believe it. We've started a great family camping trip. I know, this is so exciting. Our first time camping as a family. This is going to be so cool. I'm super excited. Look at this awesome fireplace. It looks so relaxing and awesome. Dear, did you get us all checked in? Uh, yup. Sorry, I was just admiring how beautiful it is up here in the mountains. Yeah, it's like where Grandma lives in the mountains. That's right, your Grandma does live in the mountains, but not these mountains. We should go there for Christmas again. I love going to Grandma's house for Christmas. Great idea, Molly. But right now, we need to have some fun at camp. Come on, family. Okay, Dad, let's go. Oh my gosh, my dad was right. This place is amazing. OMG. Oh, wait a minute. I think we went out the wrong door or something. Because I think there's supposed to be, like, a way that you can get in the car and leave. But I'm not sure if it's that way or this way. I think it's over here near the main road. Okay, Dad. I'm going to go check right now and see. Well, um, does anybody else notice that it looks like there's a tornado up there? That doesn't look good on our first day of camp. Uh, Dad? It's over here. The camp is over here. We got a pink one. Whoa! Um, that's awesome and all, but up there in the mountains, they're having a tornado. What? A tornado? Uh, yeah, and it kind of looks like, uh, hopefully it doesn't come this way, but kind of looks like it will. Whoa! A tornado on our first day at camp? Um, uh, this isn't good. Don't worry, everybody. I'm sure we can just drive around it. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, why are you in our van? Oh my gosh, that girl tried to take our van. Okay, whatever. I just, I guess we'll have this one. I'll drive. First day of camp, there's a tornado and someone already stole our bus. Okay, family, everybody jump inside. Come on, mom. Coming. And we're off. Look how adorable we look on our first camping trip. I have to agree, Dad. We do look pretty cute. I mean, we are the cutest family ever. Okay, I've never driven one of these camper vans before. Dad, just don't run into anything. Oh, my gosh, Dad! Oh, my gosh! Is everybody okay? I didn't even see that guy in the four-wheeler. He kind of pushed me into that rock. I'm okay. That was just crazy. You can say that again. That was totally crazy. Okay, family, everybody look to the left. Look at that beautiful waterfall. Whoa! Um, Dad, we need to stop the van. Pull over. Dad! Dad! Okay, Molly. Back up, Dad. I gotta see something. It's really cool. Back up. Molly, we haven't even set up our tent yet. It's getting dark. I know, but Dad, look at this. Molly, I don't know if it's such a good idea to go in there. I mean, it, a bear might live in there. Don't worry. I've got my flashlight. Oh my gosh. Dad, look at this. Wow, look at all these like rocks and minerals and stuff in here. This is amazing. I'm going to find a diamond and then I'm going to sell it for a million dollars, Dad. What are those? Those look like ghosts hanging up there. It's kind of creepy. OMG. Molly, I don't think you should go much farther. You might get lost. Okay, Dad, just a little bit farther, okay? Because I want to see what's up here. This looks so amazing up here. Oh, I'm trying to run super fast because my parents don't want me to go too far. But I want to see what's up around this corner. Okay, it just keeps going and going and going. Get in, Molly. Dad, you brought the whole van? Are you crazy? You're going to get us stuck. Just get in, Molly. Everything will be fine. 
Oh, Dad, I think this might be a bad idea going into a cave with a camper van. This might be also the perfect place to camp. Uh, Dad, the road looks a little bit crazy up here. Yeah, totally cray-cray. Daisy, did you just say cray-cray? I did, Molly, I did. Whoa, look at it. It's so awesome up here. Um, dear, I'm pretty sure that the only thing camping up here is a bunch of bears. Nah, I don't think so, Mom. I don't see any bears. Yeah, that's because they're hiding and waiting to jump out at us. <laughs> Mom. This is the perfect spot. Totally secluded. We've got a beautiful view of all of the forest and the mountains. And the stars! Look at the stars tonight. They're so beautiful. Ah, uh, I could live here. Until I ran out of cupcakes, then... Yep, nope, that wouldn't happen. Okay, let's see. Definitely need to have a campfire. A camp chair. And also my tent. Daisy! Are you setting up your tent? I set up our tent, dear. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I ever want to get out of the camper van, though. Oh, Mom, don't be such a chicken. Oh, Dad, I was about to set up, um... Set up a campfire, but since you did it, that's cool. It won't let me put my chair down. I don't know why, though. I'm trying to put my chair down, but it won't let me. Well, I don't know why it won't let me put my chair down, but I'll just put this tent right here. Okay, yeah, they can know that I'm here, but they cannot camp here. Okay, now I can put my chair down. Must be I was supposed to, um... I was basically supposed to put my tent up first. You're always supposed to put your tent up first, Molly. That way you have somewhere to go to sleep when you need to. Mom, are you ever going to get out of the van? I don't know. There might be bears. Mom, don't be a chicken. Come on. You love to camp. You said when you were a girl, you camped all the time. That is true, but, you know, it's just... Well, I don't really like bears that much. Mom, it's going to be fine. I'm sure Dad will rescue us if there's a bear. Right, Dad? Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Dad, that didn't sound convincing. Uh, I wonder if I have any marshmallows I can roast. Let me see. Gear. Um, no. Oh, Mom! No worries. What do you mean, Molly? Well, I've got a little bit of this. What is that? Bear spray! <laughs> no bears are going to bug us with bear spray. Uh-huh, sure. Where do we go to the bathroom? Uh, out in the woods. What? Uh, no, I think that's a bad idea. No, 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 Mom. It's a good idea. Whoa, what was that? A bear? Ah! Where? A bear? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, it says that you're having an event, Mom. And I'm at it. <laughs> Whoops, I don't think I meant to have an event. Woo! Look at the fire! He's so pretty! Yeah, I have to agree, Daisy. It is pretty awesome. Well, guys, we need to go to bed so we can get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow, we're gonna have a big day. Okay, well, good night, everybody! Good night! Ah, do I have a sleeping bag or did I forget it? That'll be terrible if I forgot my sleeping bag. Okay, all that's in here is a tent. Okay, what's this? A table? Oh, look. There's like a cotton candy machine or something, too. Oh, you can buy stuff from the store. Well, I need to have some stuff from my tent. So, how about that? I think this... Okay, polka dot mat. Okay, yes. I'd like that, please. First, I gotta go set up this, like, ice cream machine or whatever. Molly, what are you doing? You're supposed to be in your tent. Uh, sorry, I'm setting up this ice cream machine. Oh, it's like, it's a marshmallow machine or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It won't let me set it up, though. Okay, so I guess I'll pick something else. How about my mat? That would be nice. Just go to the camp store, Daisy. You can get a mat, too. You need to have somewhere to sleep, obviously. Okay, perfect. <sighs> what do all these do? Maps to the tent. Okay, I'm in my tent. Mm -hmm. roar, roar. Oh my gosh, did anybody hear that? Uh, yeah, sorry, that was my stomach. I'm a little hungry. No, I'm pretty sure it was a bear. Let me go out and look. 
I okay, I spare I sprayed some bear spray. Oh my gosh! It was my stomach, I'm telling you. Daisy, where did you get that sleeping bag? Molly, get out of my sleeping bag! No way, Daisy. This is my sleeping bag. Now you can use the blue tent. Oh my goodness, Molly, you're so rude! Come on, Daisy, share with me. Haha, <laughs> now you have no sleeping bag. Okay, well, I don't know where the sleeping bags are! Oh my goodness. You're so mean. Hey, look at it. I got 50 new toilet rolls. That's not toilet rolls. Those are marshmallows. <laughs> I thought they were toilet paper rolls. <laughs> Where's mom? Mom! Is there a bear? Is there a bear? Mom, did you get any sleep at all? Um, is there a bear? Mom, come on. You're going to miss out on all the fun. Okay, everybody, let's go hang gliding or canoeing or something. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. This is so cool. Woo! I can't wait to go! It's gonna be so much fun! Yup, yup, yup. All aboard! Here we go! Does anybody know where the activities are actually happening? Um, let me look at the map really quick, Dad. Okay. On the map it says, um... Coliseum, Spa, Castle, Aztec Ruins... Okay, Dad, look at the map, and you pick somewhere amazing to take us today. There is so many cool things to do on the map, okay? Sounds good to me, girls. Let's go! Family camping trip! 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 <laughs> I like when we sing songs. Maybe we should sing some camp songs. Sounds like a great idea, Daisy. And Molly. Yeah, it was my idea. Molly, get back in the car. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump out. Um, we might be a little stuck. Dad! Pull the car out. Jeepers creepers. Sally the camel has three humps. Sally the camel has three humps. Sally the camel has... Three humps, so ride, Sally, ride, do 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 do. Sally the camel has two humps. Sally the camel has two humps. Sally the camel has two humps, so ride, Sally, ride, do 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 do. Sally the camel has one hump. Sally the camel has one hump. Sally the camel has one hump, so ride, Sally, ride, do 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 do. Molly, do not sing that full level. Oh, come on, Daisy, it's awesome. Oh, yeah, here's the hang gliding stuff. Oh, my gosh, it's going to be so cool. I'll race you there, Molly. You'll never beat me, Dad, because you're old. Yeah, but I'm taller. I have really long legs. Too bad, Dad. Look how fast I'm going. You're going to lose. Totally going to lose, Dad. Oh, my gosh, this is a really big hill. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hang glide over the entire camp. This is going to be awesome. I love Roblox. Yes, I do. I love Roblox, how about you? Do do do, I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? If you love Roblox, slam that like button! Come on guys, give this camping video a huge thumbs up! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need a cupcake after this, Dad. Finally! Oh my gosh, Dad. Holy moly, look at this. This is insane, Molly! I know. Oh, it's making me kind of dizzy. Okay, time to pull out my hang glider. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be crazy. On your mark, get set, go! Ah! Ah! Okay, I don't know how to use my hang glider. Ow! 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 Okay, uh, Dad? Dad! I'm lost in the wilderness! Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I didn't, I didn't know how to use my hang glider. Oh, my gosh. Molly, what are you doing? Um, okay, I figured it out. Oh, my goodness, Molly. That was crazy. I know, Dad. I know. Sorry. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Ah! Watch that tree! <laughs> Whoa, I'm gonna go in the water. Oh, my gosh. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I need more practice with my hang glider. Okay, where did I land? Oh my goodness, I'm going to be really far away from my dad and everybody. I'm lost at camp! Dad? 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 Oh 
Oh no. Okay, maybe I can get back in my hang glider. And go up. Okay, there, good. Okay, keep going up, Molly. Uh-oh. I need to take hang glider lessons. Whoa! Uh-oh. Um... Mom? Dad? I have a little bit of a problem! It's a bear! Ah, he's biting me! Help! Okay, bear spray. Bear spray. Get out of here. Psst. Psst. Oh, my gosh. Bear spray! Bear spray! Oh, this bear's getting me dead! Help! Oh, my gosh. I just got eaten by a bear on our camping trip. Uh, the end. <laughs> hey, Tell Your fans, thanks so much for watching today. Um, basically, I'm now a ghost because we went on a camping trip. I crashed my hang glider and a bear ate me. <laughs> but the rest of my family is fine, I'm sure. <laughs> and also, it's raining inside the lodge. That's probably not a good thing. Molly, there you are. <laughs> Dad, why are you laying down? This bear was chasing me and, well, uh... A bear chased me and then he ate me! Oh, this is a crazy trip right now. I know, but I still had fun, even if I'm a ghost now. Well, tell you fans, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan. And Molly! And Daisy! And Laura! And today, guys, we are at the Encanto um, house, which is so cool. Guys, take a look at this. Someone made the Encanto house in Roblox. And today, we're going to be playing hide and seek here. But first, I think we should become the Encanto characters. Ooh, that's a great idea. Let's do this. All right, um, I call Maribel. Of course you do, Molly. <laughs> look at me, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so adorable as Maribel. Daisy, who did you pick? Daisy, you're Louisa? Yeah, I'm as strong as strong can be. Ugh. Hey, be careful. When you're moving around there, you might break the ground. <laughs> oh my gosh, my dad decided to be Bruno. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys, so here's the rules for Encanto Hide and Seek Roblox Edition. Um, you have to hide somewhere inside the house. It can be in any room. And, um, let's pick a safe. If the person finding you, um, doesn't get you by the time you get back to this lovely mural of the entire Encanto family, then you're safe and you don't have to be it. And I'll be it first, okay? Um, okay, that sounds like a lot of rules, but I think I got it. Dad. Are you that old you don't remember how to play hide-and-seek? What? No, I don't know how to play hide-and-seek. I'm not old. <laughs> and remember, guys, this house is magical. So, be careful. One, two, better hide quick. Three, four, five. 999, 1,000. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> oh my gosh, this house is so amazing. <coughs> Achoo! Wait a minute, did I just hear my dad? Dad? Well, actually, my dad's name is Bruno now. Bruno! Where? Wait a minute, is that bush over there moving? <laughs> dad, I found you! Oh man, I was allergic to that plant and it made me sneeze. No fair! Okay, I'm still going to find everybody else, but you're next. Okay, fine. Oh, man, look at all these doors. How will I know which one to go into? Um, uh, uh. I'm going to go into Louisa's room. Because Daisy is Louisa, so I think she might be hiding in here. Whoa, her room is amazing. <laughs> oh, my gosh, they made her bed out of stone. I guess that makes sense, because if she slept on a regular bed, she'd probably break it. <laughs> That's really true. Mom, I heard you say that. I found you. Oh, man, now I'm it. Now I found Dad first. Oh, go figures. He's kind of stinky at, um, well, hiding. Yeah, you can just say that again. Wow, Louisa's room is amazing. She even has her own workout pool. <laughs> awesome. 
Okay, now I just have to find um Daisy or AKA Louisa. She's hiding really good. Daisy is super good at hide and seek, so it's probably gonna take me a little bit to find her. Okay, I'm gonna go with Isabella's. Whoa! Isabella's room is beautiful! Wow, look at her bed. It's like fit for a princess. Um, yeah, I have no idea where Daisy went. Is she out here in outer space? <laughs> Nah. Daisy! Oh, I bet Daisy's already going back to the safe zone. I'm gonna have to go look and see if she made it back to the safe zone. Do you guys think she made it to the safe zone? Slam the like button if you do! Oh, she didn't! Wait, there she is! Daisy, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> I won! Yeah, actually you did, because I got these other two. All right, that's it. Okay, Dad, you have to count to a thousand. Whoa, Molly, that's a lot. Daisy, um, you can't hide with me. What's rude, Molly? <laughs> I have a great spot. Wait till you guys see this. I I saw it when I was looking for everyone else. No, no, no. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Watch this, guys. Of course, I've got to hold my breath for a really long time, so I hope I can do that. Watch this. No one's going to know where I am. No one. Okay, I sort of want to look over the edge. Okay, good thing they put glass up. Daisy, you can't follow me. Molly, I want to use your hiding spot. Besides, this is my room. What? Okay, whatever, but this is supposed to be my hiding spot. Fine, you can take this hiding spot, but I'm going to go to a different one. Don't follow me. Oh, wait, look, she has like a rock wall. That's so cool. Whoa, whoa. I want to climb up it so bad. I don't think I can, though. All right, I've got to go find somewhere else to hide because Daisy stole my hiding space. Sisters are so rude like that. Oh, my gosh, guys. I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going into Bruno's room. Oh, I got a badge. I found the I found Bruno's room, room award. Oh, my gosh. Whoever built this in Roblox is amazing. Okay, you get, um, you get, like, so many stars for building this. This looks just like the movie. This is so cool. Do you guys want to see some role plays, um, in this house? Uh, I think we're gonna do some because this is too cool. Okay, um, I guess it's a pretty good place to hide. I don't think Dad's ever gonna find me here. Ready or not, here I come! Oh my gosh, guys. He's never gonna find me in here. Not ever. Do, 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 do. I wish I had a snack. Why doesn't Maribel have a snack in her in her little bag here? I need a cupcake! Yeah, he's never finding me. It's been an hour. I guess I could um go back to the home um the home base now and hopefully he doesn't catch me on the way. Wee! <laughs> Bruno's room is insane! Guys, slam the like button if you think this house looks just like Encanto. Have you guys seen the movie? Let me know in the comment section below. I thought it was amazing. Okay, I have to be very careful right now because I don't want to get caught. Ah! Dad, no! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Wait, you didn't find anybody yet? Um, well, uh, not really. Dad, you stink at hide and seek. Can you help me? Yeah, I'll help you. But remember, you didn't actually catch me. I know. Okay, I have to help my dad because he's terrible at hide and seek, so we're gonna try to find the rest of my family together. Um, all right, I have to find mom and Daisy. Whoa, we haven't been in this room yet. Oh, wow, there's a little picnic area. Okay, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, I wonder if Daisy's still in Louisa's room. Dad, why are you following me? You could go somewhere else. Ha <laughs> ha! Dad, over here! Dad, over here! She did steal my hiding spot. Wow. Got you! What? Did Molly tell you where I was? Dad and I are working together. What? That's not fair. Totally fair. <laughs> oh, whatever. I guess I'll be it. 
I just don't understand how dad could have an accomplice. Because he asked me and I got to home base before he could catch me, so I wasn't it anyway. But now we have to find your mom. Where could she be? I don't know. Let's all go look. I love playing Roblox with my family. It's so much fun. Um, especially since my parents aren't particularly good. <laughs> it makes catching them so easy in, in hide and seek. Um, okay, no, I already went in that room. I haven't gone in this room yet. Nope, that's not it. Where is my mom? What? Look at, oh my gosh. All of these rooms are like so magical. I mean, yeah, they're supposed to be, but I just, every time I go into a new room, I wasn't expecting how amazing this room would be. Okay, my mom's not in here. Uh, Molly, did you fight her? No. And there's a lot of steps that I have to run down. Somebody make me a cupcake. <laughs> Ooh, cupcakes. Wait, there's dad. Okay, did anybody check down here? Wait a minute. Did you change your outfit? Um, I may have. Mom, that's cheating. <laughs> Mom, you cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Mom cheated. Hey, you can't change your character. That's confusing. Well, sorry, I did. Now, where's Daisy? Oh, my gosh. We keep losing family members in this house. It's like they swallows us up because it's magic. <laughs> Daisy, I'm about to say goodbye to everybody. I'm coming, Molly. Jeepers, bossy much? <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for watching our Encanto Hide and Seek. If you guys love this, please subscribe to our channel. Yeah, and don't forget to hit the like button too. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Oh man, today my mom made a dentist appointment for me and I don't want to go to the dentist. She's going to give me braces. I just know it. Oh, I could maybe go in the pool instead. Who's calling me? Hello? Hey, Molly, are you thinking about going in the pool instead of going to the dentist? Whoa, Mom, are you spying on me? Where are you? I'm nowhere to be found around you, Molly. I just know how you think, and this is why you always get yourself into trouble. Whoa, get out of my brain, Mom. Get out of my brain. Molly, go into the dentist's office, please. Fine, I don't want to, though, Mom. I'm scared. You're going to be fine, Molly. The dentist is so nice. But his name is Dr. Payne. How could the dentist who's nice be, be called Dr. Payne? Well, it's not his fault. And besides, it's spelled P-A-Y-N-E, not P-A-I-N. Doesn't matter, Mom. It's still Dr. Payne. Molly, go to the dentist. You're going to be late. Fine. Oh, that was creepy. My mom knew I was going to get in the pool instead of going to the dentist. Moms know everything. They've got eyes everywhere. Okay, now which one is the waiting room? I can never remember when I'm here. Oh, wait, yeah, it's in here. Mom was lying. His name is not P-A-Y-N-E. It's P-A-I-N-E. Well, whatever. Oh, my gosh. I have to go to the dentist. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, great. It's you. Wait, what? Sarah, you're here? Yeah, I've got an appointment with Dr. Molar. It's Molar. No, it's Molar. Oh, how do these people decide they're going to be dentists? And they just like, well, my name is Dr. Payne. I should definitely be a dentist then. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I cracked myself up. That's funny. <laughs> Your teeth are ugly. Well, that was random. Why do you say my teeth are ugly? Because um, they are. My teeth are not ugly. Look, see, they're really cute. You have buck teeth. You look like, you look like a donkey. What? No, I don't. Go hee-haw. Go hee-haw. No, I'm not going to say hee-haw. You just did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you're definitely going to need braces. What? No, I'm not. I don't want braces. I don't want them. Whatever. You know what? <laughs> I have an evil idea. An awful, wonderful, evil idea. <laughs> Okay, I'm done evil laughing, but seriously, I'm going to pretend I'm a dentist. 
and didn't go into Sarah's room and tell her she has the most ugly teeth ever. <laughs> She'll be scarred for life. That'll teach her a lesson. Now I just gotta find a dentist outfit around here somewhere. Probably back here. <laughs> Dr. Molar at your service. <laughs> now let's see, which room was she in? She's not even in here yet. That's okay, I'll just wait for her. <laughs> oh, Sarah! Oh, good morning, Dr. Mola. What? Daisy, what? What's wrong, Dr. Mola? I'm here to have my cavity filled. Oh my God, it's Daisy. I thought I thought Sarah was gonna come into this room and it, 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 it's my sister. Are you okay, Dr. Mola? Come on, I wanna get this cavity filled. I like having perfect tea. Um, yeah, sure. Um, okay, uh, just give me a second. You don't seem very confident. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just looking in my bag for some stuff. Okay, um, shot, uh, what else would I need? Um, an axe? Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay, and, um, also, um, a cupcake. Ah, uh, mmm. Cupcakes. Dr. Marla, that's very, very unprofessional to eat a cupcake. Well, you want me to have energy, don't you? Wow, you're so much like my sister. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is give you a shot of numbing. What? I don't like shots. Trust me, you're not going to want me to drill in your face without a shot. Oh, yeah, um, that sounds horrible. I'll take the shot, please. Okay, open up and say ah. Don't look at the needle, please. Okay, uh, 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 are you sure this won't hurt? It might pinch a little, but it'll be okay. All right, here we go, right? Yeah, here we go. Close your eyes. Closing them. Oh, oh, no! I accidentally put the shot in your arm! Why is my arm and my hand falling asleep? Um, oopsie, uh, that's because the Novocaine just goes up your arm and into your mouth. <laughs> it's a new way to inject a shot. OMG, you know all the latest things, Dr. Mola. I know I'm in good hands here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Um, so let me just take this wrench here, and I'm going to twist your tooth out. What? You're not pointing it out. I just have a cavity. Um, you know what? Um, I'm not so sure that I I can do this today. I, I'm i feeling a little, well, now that I'm, I, I, I'm feeling a little nervous. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Just get in there and get the work done. Okay, fine. Wow, you're a bossy patient. Okay, I have the drill. I'm not sure I'm numb yet. Nope, definitely not numb. Ouchie, ouch, ouch, ouch. Whoa, that's an awful lot of blood. Oh. Dr. Mola? Dr. Mola! Daisy, help. Molly? It's... You're not Dr. Mola, you're Molly. Ouch, and you just cut my tongue. That really hurt, Molly. What are you doing? I can't believe the blood. It was gross. Molly, get out here. Stand up and tell me why you're pretending to be Dr. Mola, crazy. Okay, well, I didn't know you were going to be in here. Who else would be in here, Molly? Oh, my gosh, I'm going to need stitches. Call the paramedics. Daisy, you're going to be fine. It's just a tiny little cut. Molly, what are you doing? Okay, I, I was trying to fool Sarah. Wait, what? Yeah, she was being rude to me, and I decided to pretend to be your dentist. Tell her she has ugly teeth. But then you came in asking for a cavity to be filled, and I didn't know what to do. You would have blown my cover. Whatever, Molly. I'm going to find Dr. Mola. Dr. Molar is not here. It's just me today. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. Now, excuse me. I have to go into the other room and wait on my other patient, Sarah. Molly, don't do this. It's a bad idea. It's going to go very wrong. Well. Daisy... Go to the hospital and get your tongue sewed back up. How will I even be able to talk if they sewed my tongue? I don't know, but that sounds like a win-win situation. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, I'm going to give you one star and Yelp for being so slow. Dr. Molar at your service. Wow, you got your hair cut. It's ugly. Well, at least I know she's not just rude to me. Okay, Sarah, sit down, please. I want to take a look at your teeth. They're perfect, of course. Um, I'll be the judge of that. Say, ah! I don't even know why I have to come to the dentist. I mean, my mom makes me, but my teeth are perfect. Shh! Did I tell you to talk? 
What? Don't talk to me like that, Dr. Molar. Uh-huh, sure. Um, let me just take a look in here. Why do you have that drill? Get away from me! My teeth are perfect! Actually, I've seen a lot of teeth in this office. A lot. Thousands and thousands of teeth! Okay, what's your point? Yours are definitely the ugliest, grossest teeth I've ever seen! What? Are, are you serious? Yeah, your teeth are gross. Why don't you eat another cupcake or drink some more sugar? Mm. Your teeth aren't rotted out of your head enough. That's not nice. And why are you eating a cupcake? That's so unprofessional. I love cupcakes. Ooh, cupcakes. Yum! I can't believe it. My teeth are really ugly. What will I do about it, Dr. Molar? Nothing uh, but to do but to just pull them all out. I've got a big shot here of Novocaine I can give you. And then we'll rip them out with this crowbar. Or a wrench. Or a hammer. I, I don't know what this is. But it'll rip your teeth out! What? No! I want my mommy! I'm out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Day is made. <laughs> oh, who are you? I'm Dr. Molar. Well, I'm Dr. Payne, and you don't look anything like Dr. Molar, so who are you for real? I don't like pranks. Oh, hi, Dr. Payne. Um, I'm your new... Um, um, intern from the college yeah <laughs> oh perfect well then go refill my coffee what no, i don't work here yeah actually you do and you do it for free because you're an intern <laughs> i like extra pumpkin spice oh man so worth it though so worth it take that sarah <laughs> Oh, baby Kira, you're so cute. Do you have your little passy, huh? Did you just wake up from your nap? No, you're a baby. You can't eat Doritos. These are delicious. Mm. Buckley, are you eating Doritos on the couch again? Uh -oh. Ugh, you're going to get Dorito fingers all over the white couch. Make <laughs> now. Molly, your Dorito fingers are on the couch right now. Ugh, you're going to stay in the couch. But they're so good. Mom and Survivor's on right now, and this is a new episode. <gasps> Molly, go wash your hands and then sit on the couch. No Dorito fingers on my couch. Fine. Okay, baby Kira, are you ready to go to your doctor's appointment? No. I'm not going. Yeah, you don't want to go there. They're probably going to give you a big shot. Molly, why would you tell your sister that? Well, sometimes it's the truth. Uh oh. It's her first doctor's appointment ever. I'm trying not to scare her. No, she had one when she was a really little baby. It's the first one. She knows what's going on, though, Molly. I'm not going. Sorry, baby Kira, you need to go. The doctor's going to check you out and make sure that you're still growing and, and um, maybe I'll give you some shots. Molly, do you want to get grounded? Uh-oh. Uh, no, I'm out of here. Uh, good luck, baby Kira. Oh, my God, that's the Gee, thanks, Molly. You're welcome. I'm going to go eat my Doritos in my room. Baby Kira, it's going to be fine, I promise. Dr. Bernstein is very, very nice. I don't buy it, do you, doctor? Well, honey, you're already at the doctor. We're just waiting for Mr. Bernstein to come in. Did somebody say my name? <laughs> Hi, Laura, how are you? I'm good, Dr. Bernstein. How are you? I'm doing great, and look at this little baby. She's not quite a baby anymore. Now she's a toddler, right? Well, almost. <laughs> but you're right, she's not a newborn anymore, and she's here for her checkup. Hi, baby Kira, how are you doing? I want to talk to you. Wow, feisty, isn't she? Her sister may or may not have told you she was told her she was getting a shot today. Well, I don't know about all that, but if you do have to get a shot, you'll get a lollipop. I want lollipop. I want to go home. Oh, baby Kira, everything's going to be fine, I promise. That's right. Dr. Bernstein, that's me. I'm very friendly. 
Now, what did I do with my stethoscope? Ugh, I knew I was gonna forget that. What did I do with it? Hmm, what did I do with it? Okay, honey, your mommy has to go potty. I'll be back in one second, okay? You stay here and wait for Dr. Bernstein. Oh, I'm going to here. Oh, I can I have to buy the dad in the bar. Baby Kira, just stay here and I'll be right back in a second. I knew I shouldn't have drank all that water. <laughs> <laughs> it was around my neck! Duh! <laughs> it must be it Monday! Wait, where's my patient? And her mom? Did they leave? What's going on? Hi, Dr. Bernstein. Where's baby Kira? Uh-oh! Oh, I thought you guys had left. I went to look for my stethoscope, and when I came back, neither one of you were here. Oh no, I just went to go to the bathroom for one second. I've been drinking all this water, trying to get healthier, and well, I had to go, and, and, and... I didn't want to see the doctor, so I think she ran away. What? A baby that ran away? This is bad! She can't take care of herself out there in the big world of Brookhaven. I know. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to call 911! Maybe the police officers can find her. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she did this. Naughty little baby. I just want her to come back and her be safe. Well, let me go call the police. Okay, let me call Molly, my daughter. Maybe she went home, if she even knows the way. All right, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. There's my cell phone. Oh, someone's calling the hospital line. Hello, Dr. Bernstein speaking. I like you. I, I play hide and seek. Is this baby Kira? Uh-huh. I have my mommy's cell phone. <laughs> I stole it. Oh, you're being a very naughty baby. You come back out here and get your checkup right away. You can't find me. Na, 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 na. Where's my cell phone? Um, well, your daughter just called the hospital line. Molly? Daisy? No, baby Kira, she stole your cell phone. <gasps> That's where my cell phone went. Naughty baby! Apparently she's hiding in the hospital and wants us to play hide and seek with her. Ugh. Okay, well... I guess we'll look around for her. Your baby's very mischievous. Okay, not in any of the rooms. Well, let's see if she's in the x-ray machine. Baby Kira? Whoa! Oh my gosh! Uh, I'm kind of stuck in the x-ray machine. Help! Okay, okay. I think I can get out. No, I can't. Uh, Dr. Bernstein, are you okay? Uh, no. Could you open the door? Okay, thanks. I got stuck in the, in the x-ray machine when I was looking for baby Kira. Maybe she's in seeing the babies. Oh my gosh! Shh! La 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 Is now the time to be rocking a baby? Well, somebody has to. I mean, the baby was crying. We have to find my baby, Dr. Bernstein. Okay, okay, shh, 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 shh. All right, little baby, now you can go back in your crib, okay? All right, let's go see if we can find her. Maybe in the... She wouldn't go into surgery, right? Surgery seems kind of crazy for her to hide in. She might be in there, though. Well, I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> I think I did one with you. She's terrible at hiding. She always giggles whenever you get close to her. <gasps> there she is. Uh -oh. I think I can put my eyes on going to the doctor. Newsflash, I'm already here, and I am the doctor. Come on, baby Kira. Time to get your checkup. <laughs> okay, baby Kira, this is to listen to your heart. Um, Dr. Bernstein, why are you laying down? Sorry, this job is kind of exhausting. <laughs> okay, your heart sounds good. All right, now this one's to look in your ears. Just hold very still. Ah, tickles! Oh, you've got some potatoes in your ears. <laughs> That's okay, it's allergy season, so that makes total sense to me. All right. Uh, will she be needing an S-H-O-T? Um, I'm afraid to say she's going to need one. I know my dish best! You do? Whoa, super smart. Um, yeah, honey, you're just gonna need a shot, but I promise it'll only pinch for a second. Oh, wrong one! This shot ensures that you stay healthy. Are you ready? One, two... Oh! And it's over! Oh, really? That was it? Yeah. That stressed me out more than you, I think. <laughs> now, how about a delicious treat for getting your shot? Nurse Betty makes the most delicious cotton candy in the world. And since you weren't that excited about a lollipop, maybe you'd like some purple cotton candy? Wow, that is a bubble tea! Oh, 
has a gadget to play. I thought you might like it. Here you go. Is my daughter healthy, Dr. Bernstein? She's very healthy, Laura. And, well, a little mischievous like your Molly. Yeah, I figured she was going to be. I was lucky with Daisy. That's right, but it seems that both of your daughters are very alike. I love my, she's my favorite. Okay, baby Kira, come on. Let's go home. Bye, baby Kira. See you next time. Nah, I'm never coming back here. <laughs> Well, if you're the last one in the house, you are. <laughs> hey, Mom. Oh, hey, Molly. Hey, Daisy. How was school today? It was great. I got an A on my science exam. Good job, Daisy. How'd you do, Molly? I got a B plus. What? I'm so happy. That's amazing. Wait, Mom, why do you have a suitcase? What's going on? Um, well, your father and I decided we needed a little vacation. Wow. A vacation? Where are we going? I'm so excited. Are we going to Disney? That would be amazing. Oh, could we go to Paris? I've never been to Paris. Uh, Molly, uh, duh. We are gonna go and, um, see London for the first time. I just know it because remember I did my school project about that? Molly, what are you doing? Do you have to go potty? No, I'm just so excited. I can't even stand still. I'm sorry, girls, but this is a trip for your dad and I, a couple's trip, for us to reconnect and spend a couple days together. You guys are staying with your grandma and going to school. So let me get this straight. You get to go on a vacation somewhere amazing, and Daisy and I still have to go to school? How is that fair? Well, your father and I work very hard to pay the bills around here. Don't you think we need a break every now and again? She does, does have a point, Miley. But, but we work really hard, too. Why can't we have a break? Molly, you're going to go to your grandma's. You're going to have so much fun. I did it, Molly. I love grandma's. Mom, where are you going? Where are you going? We're going to go to the beach for a couple of days. The beach? Oh, I want to go to the beach. Girls, go pack your bags. I'll drop you off at grandma's before dad and I go to the airport. Mom, did you forget something? No, baby Kira just got in the car. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave one of my kids home alone. That would just be crazy. I know you grandma's house. Grandma, 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 grandma house. Ma, you and grandma go grandma house? No, I don't. I want to go to the beach. I don't want to go to school. Molly, it's not going to be that bad. Yes, it is, Daisy. Yes, it is. I had a boy, he had a double. I go in grandma house. It gonna be fun. Yeah, Molly, listen to baby Kira. Your little sister's right. It is gonna be so fun. You love grandma. We're here. Ugh, grandma's house is so nice. Why are you saying it like that, Molly, if you think it's so nice? Because it's not as nice as the beach. We're not having to go to school. I did a cute place. I love it. 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 I love it too, baby Kira. Don't listen to Molly. She's just being a grump monster. Oh, girls. I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Grandma. Hi, baby Kira. I did a baby to a wonderful grandma. I love you too, dear. Oh my, who's this grumpy girl on my doorstep? Surely this cannot be my granddaughter, Molly. Don't worry, it's her. But she's so miserable because mom and dad are going to the beach and she can't. She has to stay here and go to school. But you get to spend the night with me, Molly, and I'm so much fun. Now I'm going to cook some burgers in the backyard. Who wants to come with me? Molly, I made your favorite dessert. Molly, how can you be grumpy when Grandma made your favorite dessert? Well, yeah, you've kind of got a point. I'm not saying I'm happy about being home, left home without going on vacation, but Grandma, you are pretty awesome. Oh, thank you, dear. I love you all. And the apple pie is cooling in the kitchen window. We'll have it after we have some delicious cheeseburgers. Sounds good. I did a pie. I did a papa. Whoa, your pie got huge. I'm jumping in it. Molly, it's too cold to swim. I'm still swimming in it. Whoa, this is so cool. Grandma, um, are you gonna get some koi fish? I may eventually, dear. 
or maybe some piranhas. Whoa, we couldn't swim in it then. Holy guacamole, they'd be chomp chomping us. <laughs> it would keep the burglars out, that's for sure. Yeah, I'd be like you lived in a castle. <laughs> you have like a moat around your house, Grandma. I'll be right back, Grandma. I want to see if there's any fun things on TV right now. Oh dear, there's nothing on TV. The door's locked, Grandma. That's because you're not allowed to watch TV all day when you're- Oh no, I'm burning the burgers. Oh cheapers, she willikers. Don't worry, Grandma, I'll help you with that. Thank you, dear. What I was trying to say is you don't need to watch TV here. Tons of fun things to do. Now come on, let's eat. I get to buy the daddy to bubble ya. Bring a good cheap burger, Grandma. I get to bubble ya. Oh dear, you have ketchup all over your face. Yeah, mm. she usually is like that when she's eating. She's kind of messy. So what, you, Molly? You have ketchup on your nose. What? I do? <laughs> yeah, you look ridiculous, Grandma. What are you doing? Oh, I just have to take my pills before I can eat. Pills for what? Oh, just about everything, Molly. Once you get old, well, your body just decides it's going to, I don't know, not work right, I guess. Whoa, I hope I never get old. Me too. Now, what time are your girls' bedtime? Uh, Baby Kira's bedtime is at 8. Ours is at midnight. Molly, that's a lie. Wow, your mom lets you stay up really late these days. Yeah, it's because we got good grades at school, right, Daisy? Molly... Daisy doesn't want to stay up to midnight because she gets really grumpy in the morning, which is totally fine, but I'm gonna. I mean, since I have to go to school and I'm not on vacation. All right, well, whatever you say, dear. But you do have to get out of bed in the morning for school, so don't forget. I won't, Grandma. I won't. Wait, where's my pajamas? Oh, my God, I forgot to pack them. Grandma! Grandma! Okay, where's Grandma? Are they still outside? So we were coming in to brush our teeth. Baby Kara, what are you doing out here? I got a side put on my pajamas. Good night, night. Okay, where's Grandma? Because I have to tell her I forgot my pajamas. Yeah, do I think I'm cleaning up the mess from dinner? I your papa, yeah. Oh no, dear, I'm up here just setting up the beds for you guys. Grandma, I forgot my pajamas. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Don't worry, dear. I have a pair of pajamas you can borrow. Go ahead and get in the dresser and get a pair out. Okay. Grandma, these are old lady pajamas. Well, duh, I am an old lady. But look at that adorable cat. Grumpy cat. Oh, boy. I'm so embarrassed right now. Good thing no one will see you in your sleep. Now, off to bed. No, Grandma, I get to stay up to midnight, remember? Are you sure that's what your mother said? Yeah, absolutely. She also said that I can eat three pieces of apple pie. Three? Oh my, you'll get a stomach ache. Yeah, and then you'll be puking all night long, Molly. Nope, that's what she said. I'm totally fine with eating three pieces of pie. I'll be fine. Okay, dear, I just don't want you to get the diarrheas. <laughs> that's such a funny word. Well, I'm just saying, that would be awful. Good night, dear. Now don't stay up too late. I won't, Grandma. Ugh, finally, everyone else is asleep. And I can go watch some TV and just chill. While eating apple pie and other desserts, by the way. <laughs> Look at that little chipmunk. That's just like me when I eat apple pie. Ugh, I've got to stuff it all in my mouth. Yes, yes I do. Well, I'm all full of apple pie, but I found this birthday cake in Grandma's refrigerator. I'm sure she won't mind if I eat it. Mm, 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 mm. That was good. Ugh. I don't feel so good. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh, my stomach is gonna explode. Gotta get to the bathroom. Gotta get to the bathroom. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. There, that wasn't so bad. Ugh. Ugh. I don't think I need to eat any more cake though, but I feel a lot better now. Oh, oh. No! No, I don't! Oh my gosh, gotta get to the bathroom. The next. 
Is he next morning? <laughs> oh, I had a lovely night's nice sleep. Now I think I'll make the girls waffles for breakfast. Mm -hmm, I sure will. Good morning, Grandma. Oh my, you scared me. I'm not used to having company. <laughs> oh, sorry, Grandma. Hey, have you seen Molly? What? N no, is she not up in bed? Uh, no, she never came to bed. And I thought maybe she fell asleep on the couch, but she's not there evil. Oh, dear. I wonder what could have happened to her. Let's look around the cottage and see if we can find her. <coughs> oh, my. Molly, why are you sleeping next to the toilet? Oh, poor thing. I was so... Sick last night. Oh dear, you should have woken me up. What happened? I ate all the apple pie and then some of that birthday cake. What? That was for my friend's hundredth birthday. I'll help you bake another one, Grandma. Uh, but uh, it made me go pfft, pfft, and also pfft, and a little bit of pfft, and a lot of pfft, and my stomach hurt really bad. Well, dear, serves you right. I hope you learned your lesson eating my friend's birthday cake. And you stayed up all night on the toilet, didn't you? Um, yeah. <sighs> well, let's get you cleaned up for school. I can't go to school. I hardly slept. Oh, dear. Well, here. You can take one of these Pepto-Bismols and you'll be right as rain. Oh, those Pepto-Bismols taste terrible. Well, dear, I think you should think about that before you eat so many treats and stay up so late. You know, Grandma, I used to think you're just old, but turns out you're pretty smart, too. It comes with being on this planet for so many years. You learn a lot, like don't eat too much pie and cake, or you'll poo poo all night long. <laughs> yeah, Ugh, that was the worst. Grandma, I made some waffles. Hey, Molly, you want a waffle? Huh? Waffle? Oh, that sounds gross. Oh. Something tells me Molly's going to be skipping breakfast today. Yeah, <laughs> she probably is. <laughs> Did you have a good day? I don't want to go home. I had to get you my fun. You don't want to go home because you had so much fun? Oh, sweet girl. I'm so glad you like your new preschool. Well, like, I can't come in today. Uh, no, it's... Uh, I, I, I can't work tonight. Because I have my twins. That's why I'm here picking them up from preschool. Uh, no, I don't want to lose my job. Okay, all right. I'll come in. I can find a babysitter. Oh, hi. You must be a new mom, too. Yeah, I'm Lorelai. Oh, well, I'm Laura. Our names are almost the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a really bad day because my boss wants me to work a shift because one of the other employees got sick and I don't have anyone to watch my twins. Well, I'm sure we could have a play date with my daughter and you could come pick him up at my house later. Does that work? Oh my gosh, you do that for me? Yeah, that would work great. I don't think so, Mom. Yup, yup, yup. What do you mean, baby Kira? You love playdates. No, 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 no. I think a bad idea. No. No, I want you. Baby Kira, what's got into you? I'm sorry, Lorelai. She probably just needs a diaper change or maybe a bottle. Yeah, I don't need anything. I, I don't want to have playdate with the twin. Baby Kira, don't be rude. Besides, I already told Lorelai, so just try to have fun, okay? All right, Lorelai, I'll text you my address and you can pick up the twins after you're done with your work shift. Thanks again so much, Laura. You really saved my life on this one, or at least my job. No problem. I don't know why I did that, Mom. Those twins, they're evil. What? They're evil? <laughs> They're just babies like you. Don't be ridiculous. Here, baby Kira, take your passy and try to be very sweet to the twins. See, isn't everything all better now? I don't think so. Okay, Megan and Tegan, you guys can sit in the third row. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelts. I wanna 
to sit next to her because she smells bad. I don't smell bad. I smell like, um, uh, like my bath bubbles. Oh, yeah, she does smell really bad. Baby Kira smells like a piggy. <laughs> That's not funny. Quit teasing me, my good and chicken. Mommy! What, Baby Kira? What's going on back there? They're being made to be all ready. Oh, my goodness. You little kids are something else. Just try to get along, okay, everyone? We're going to go to a super fun diner for dinner. Then we'll go to the park. Oh boy, we're going to book it and dine on you, little papa. Mega and Tika, you're going to love it. I'm so glad I got this mom bus. Turns out I really need it. <laughs> la, 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 Ew, her singing's bad. I know, Tika, and her singing is really bad. Hey, don't talk about my mommy that way. Okay, girls, each of you can get something from the menu for dinner, and then you can each have a dessert. Oh, boy, I love dessert, Mommy. Thank you. You're welcome, baby Kira. Megan, Tegan, what would you like from the menu? Mama, Mama, Mama. Wait a minute, baby Kira. I just asked Megan and Tegan what they're having. Okay, I'll wait then. I'm going to have an ice cream, and I'm going to have some pie. No, girls, you have to eat something for dinner first. Baby Kara, what are you going to have for dinner? Maybe the girls will have the same thing. I'm going to have uh, a cheap burger and... Um, and how about a vegetable? You want to pick a vegetable? A fruit salad? Yeah, you can have a cheeseburger and a fruit salad. Those are great choices. Okay, Megan and Tegan, what are you going to have? I'm going to have, like I said, an ice cream. And I'm going to have pie. I told you they were evil. You did this to me, though, Mom. Baby Kira, go sit in your chair, please. They aren't evil. They're just being a little naughty. Whoa, that's the biggest tea burger I ever saw in my whole life. Oh, wow. And the fruit salad looks good, too. I don't know why I had your robot. She's so annoying. She still talks like a baby, Megan. I know, Tegan, she does. Yeah, what's this? I'm not eating this. Well, I ordered it for you since all you wanted to order was dessert. I got you some tacos and I got you some chicken and salad. Doesn't that look really good? No, I don't want to eat that. It looks gross. You're a bad babysitter. I told you they were evil, Mom. I told you. Baby Kira, sit down and eat your dinner. It's not nice to call Megan and Tegan evil. I think they are, though, Mom. I think they are. I think they are. I'm not eating anything unless I have my apple pie. Um, okay, well, um, I guess you aren't eating anything then because you can't eat apple pie for dinner and you're going to get very hungry. Oh, thank you. You're rude. You're rude, lady. I want to go home. Now my mom can see how evil they really are. One hour later. Okay, girls, you only have about 30 minutes. It's starting to get dark, and then we're going to go back so your mom can pick you up. I'll get a swing on that swing. Oh, there's one for all of us. Whee! No, I want to swing on that swing. Get off of there. Don't push me. Ah, oh, Megan. Oh, Megan, you pushed me. I'm good, you. Well, you should have gotten off the swing. Oh my god, baby Kira, are you okay? Are you okay? I, I can't move my foot. I think I broke it. I did Oh my gosh. Megan and Tegan, you guys are being extremely naughty. And now you pushed her off the swing and, and, and she's probably really hurt. Oh my gosh. You guys really are evil. <laughs> We are wondering if you are ever going to figure it out, lady. Okay, I need to call your mom. And then I need to take baby Kira to the hospital. Mom, it really hurts. I need to leave you without you. Well, scratch that. I think I'll have to take these girls to the hospital and call their mom from there. She's not picking up. Megan, Tegan, don't let me see you doing anything else naughty today. For reals. 
You girls are gonna make me crazy. Now come on, baby Kira. Let's get you to the hospital and get that leg looked at. Megan, Tegan, keep up, please. We're coming. Jeepers. You're so bossy. <laughs> My leg really hurts. <laughs> oh, baby Kira, I'm so, so sorry, honey. I love my uh, Megan, why don't you go and get baby Kira some water? Here. Here's some money. You can get it out of the vending machine. It's just around the corner. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, sure. I do it. <laughs> Tegan, I dare you to get in that x-ray machine. No, Megan, I dare you to get in it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what all your bones look like. I bet you won't even have a brain. Oh, uh, whatever, Megan. I will have a brain. <laughs> look at you. You are saying I dream machine and I'm a big doctor that says, um, hmm, nope, you have no brain. What? Yes, I do have a brain. Nope, see, you don't. I don't see a brain in there. Whatever. I definitely have one. Look at all these adorable little, little babies being so quiet, Megan. I know what you mean, Tegan. <laughs> Let's go some trouble. Let's have a rock concert. La 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 la. Wee, wee, wee. What are you girls doing? I sent you for a bottle of water and you're wrecking the entire hospital. Ah! Go get the bottle of water right now. We got your water. And maybe now you can grow a new leg. Oh my gosh. You two really are the most evil identical twins ever. I need to call your mom and have her come pick you up right away. It just keeps ringing. Oh, wait, I think it's going to voicemail. Hi, you've reached Lorelei. I'm currently in Cancun and I'll be back next week. Can't believe I found someone to watch the kids. I needed this break so bad. Leave a message after the beep, but I probably won't check it till next week. Lorelei, you come get these evil twins right now! How about this one, baby Kira? Look at it. It's got cute little pandas. You like this one? I love it, but not as much as I love Mr. Monkey. Yeah, Mr. Monkey is super adorable. <laughs> Ooh, I'm super hungry. Me too. I wonder when dinner's going to be ready. Mom, mom, what are we having for dinner? Oh, you're going to be so happy, Molly. We're having one of your favorites, tacos. Seriously, tacos? Oh, this day just got amazing. Um, I'm going to go back and watch TV until it's ready, okay, Mom? Sure, Molly, no problem. Thanks, Mom. I love the metal monkey. Let's go see Mom and what she doing. She's making dinner, baby Kira. Yeah, but I miss my mommy. I want to see her. Mama, I'm thirsty. Can I have a bottle of milk? Of course you can, sweetie, but just don't drink too much of it. I don't want you to spoil your dinner. We're having tacos. I love tacos. It's so good. Mm. Oh, I just remembered I have to switch over the laundry. Be right back, sweetie. I put a little bit of milk in the taco, make it taste better. <laughs> a little bit in this taco, a little bit in this one too. I put milk in all the tacos. <laughs> Are you serious? The baby panda lost its mom? <laughs> this was the worst show ever. I changed my mind. Well, Molly, good thing we're eating tacos for dinner. That'll cheer you up. I don't think anything can cheer me up after that show. Oh, that was so sad. <laughs> I'm a bit dramatic. I'm not dramatic. Okay, maybe a little baby, Kira, but that, that was so sad. Girls, time for dinner. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what you did to the tacos this time, but mm, they're better than ever. <laughs> what, baby Kira? Nothing. I didn't do anything different, Molly. You must just be extra hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I have another one? Sure, Molly. Mm. 
You really do like the tacos. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. Ten minutes later. Ugh, my stomach feels kind of... Ouchie. Oh, Molly, are you okay? Did you eat too much? No. Ugh. It's okay, she just has to fart because she ate too many tacos. This happens. Oh, what? No, I don't. <clears throat> okay, yeah, maybe I do a little... Oh. No, no, gotta run to the bathroom. Oh. Molly, are you gonna be okay? I hope so. Oh. Uh -huh. ah, what was wrong with those tacos? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> Ah, oh, okay. A little bit better. Wait a minute. Where's the toilet paper? Seriously? Did I just go to the bathroom and there's no toilet paper? There's gotta be some somewhere here, right? No? No? Uh-oh. This is so embarrassing! I need toilet paper! Who used up all the toilet paper? Mom, we're out of toilet paper! Oh, no. Okay, Molly. Well, there's probably some in the upstairs bathroom, but there's some baby wipes in there. What? I'm not a baby, Mom. I don't need to use baby wipes. Molly, it's fine. Just use the baby wipes. Ugh. Oh, Molly, are you okay? I don't know. What'd you put in those tacos anyway? I didn't put anything different in. I ate up with your milk in. Wait, what? You put milk in the tacos? Uh -huh, I put it from my baby bottle. But, 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 but. Oh, baby Kira. Molly's allergic to dairy. She's lactose intolerant. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Here it comes again. Okay, I'm going to use the upstairs bathroom because there's no toilet paper down here. Oh, gotta run, 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 gotta run, run, gotta run, 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 gotta run to the bathroom. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Okay, I made it. Oh, i Oh, can't believe she put milk in my taco. Oh. Okay, better. All right, where's the toilet paper? Seriously? There's no toilet paper anywhere in this house! Mom! Molly, is everything okay in there? No, there's no toilet paper anywhere in this house! Oh, good thing I put a little bit of um, baby wipes under the sink. <laughs> in case I had to change baby Kira's diaper. Well, Mom, do I look like I'm one years old? I mean, come on, where's the toilet paper? Uh, sounds like we need to go grocery shopping. Ugh, you think? Gee, Molly, how's your stomach feeling? It feels like a volcano erupted in my stomach. Or like someone poisoned me with milk. Oh, geez, I'm sorry about that. She's just a baby, Molly. She didn't know any better. Holy guacamole. Well, good thing that the grocery store has a bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and maybe they actually have toilet paper. Oh, how embarrassing. Well, Molly, it could be worse. You could eat another taco. <laughs> uh-huh. Very funny, Daisy. Very funny. You should be so grateful you're not lactose intolerant. <clears throat> Ooh, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> really? It doesn't sound like you're fine. Are you sure? She's got enough gas that we don't have to stop in the gas station for any. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, crack jokes at my expense. Sure. <clears throat> uh, Molly, maybe you should wait in the car. No! I'm making sure that we have all the supplies needed at the house from now on. Molly, don't you think you're a little bit too old to be riding in the cart? Hey, you're the one that put me in here. No, I didn't. Yes, yes, Mom. Yes, you did. Oh, well, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Get out of the cart. Seriously, I can't push it. You're too heavy. Fine. I'm going to go over to the Dorito section. Are you sure your stomach feels good enough for that? <sighs> no. I just want to hide out over here. Okay, now, let's see. we got to get the essentials. Molly, what on earth are you doing? I'm getting the giant mega roll of toilet paper. We are never running out again. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Maybe you should wear that costume for Halloween. Oh, very funny. Pick on the lactose intolerant girl. <laughs> but you're literally wearing the toilet paper. How many rolls is that? A hundred? <laughs> hey, well... You know what? We're never going to run out again. Oh, I just got to move this over to the cart. Mom! Mom! What? Molly, what are you doing? That's a lot of toilet paper. I'm not even sure we have room in the cart for it. We have room. We have room, see? <laughs> oh, man. We don't have room for milk or eggs or chips or um, anything else. 
<laughs> we just have room for toilet paper. <laughs> hey, I don't ever want you guys to be in the situation I was just in. It's not fun, people. It's not fun. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a bad night. I know taco night is normally so, so fun for you. Okay, we could pick up a pizza for tomorrow night. We need some more fruit. I need some more milk. I put it all in my taco. <laughs> oh my, you put all of your milk on Molly's taco. Oh, you naughty little baby. Yeah, very funny that you put all your milk in my taco. Remember, baby Kira, Molly can't have milk, okay? So don't do that again. Oh my gosh, she should be grounded for life. Wow, Molly, hush. She's just a little baby. I mean, look at her cute little innocent face. Yeah, so innocent. Besides that, behind that pacifier, she's probably making evil little faces. Oh boy, Molly, you really have gone insane. Molly, how's your stomach feeling, honey? Oh, well, it feels like I have to run to the bathroom again. Oh, good thing we bought all that toilet paper. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I feel like the bathroom and I are becoming BFFs. Wait, w w w wait, where's all the toilet paper? We bought like a hundred rolls and there's none up here? Uh, mom, mom, wait, wh wh what What? are you doing? I love Halloween, I'm the mummy. Did you wrap yourself in toilet paper, baby Kara? Uh-huh, a hundred rolls of it. <laughs> That's what it took to make this Halloween costume. Are you serious right now? You used all the toilet paper to make a Halloween costume? It's it's not even Halloween! I love it, guys. Isn't it cute? Ah! Dear Santa, I know this is a little bit late, but I just sort of figured I'd be on the naughty list, so I bother writing you a letter. But then I did some really good things, so I think I might actually be on your good list now. So here's my list of presents that I would really like to have. <laughs> Ooh, wait. First, before I make that, mm, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to eat this donut. Oh, man, I got it on the paper. Dear Santa, sorry that I got this donut on your letter. Molly, come on. It's time to read the annual Christmas story. Okay, I'm trying to make up my list to Santa, but I guess this will have to wait till later. I'm going to stay up all night anyway, so it doesn't really have to be done right this second. Okay, who's ready for our annual Christmas story? Molly, where's your pajamas? Um, I'll get them on later, okay? Mom, are you okay? Yeah, I just, I feel like I got a bee in my pants. Mom, it's Christmas. How do you have a bee in your pants? Well, I, I guess it was just hibernating in there. These are my special Christmas pajamas. Mom, those have Hello Kitty on them. I know, but I like to wear them at Christmas because they're so toasty. Anyway, let's get to the story, okay, Molly? Actually, I have a really good story I want to read you guys this year. Oh boy, here we go. I made myself a snowball, as perfect as could be. I thought I'd keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. But then last night it ran away, but first it wet the bed! <laughs> Molly, that's not the traditional Christmas story we read every year. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Okay, all right, I'm gonna read the traditional one. Come on, Mom, let me read it this year. All right, fine, Molly. I don't like this idea. She's a joke still. <clears throat> a chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny, and what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny looking for some lunch grabbed that snowman's nose, nibble, nibble, crunch, crunch. <laughs> okay, that's enough out of you. <laughs> I think you're one with you. I think you're funny. <laughs> well, I'm glad baby Kira has a sense of humor. All right, Molly, sit down. I'm going to read the traditional Christmas story. Where's your pajamas? Oh, I'm not putting on my pajamas. You can't sleep in your clothes, Molly. Well, I'm not sleeping tonight. What? It's Christmas Eve. Of course you're sleeping. Yeah, Molly, every 
everybody knows if you don't fight a sleep, Santa won't come. On the contrary, Santa will be here, and I will catch him this year. I will see him. I will say, hey, Santa, what's up? And I will hand him my letter personally. Um, Molly, I don't think that's a good idea. But, Mom, I didn't write Santa my list, and how will he know what I want or what I need? You know, I do need some new socks and underwear. Molly, I think everything will be okay, but you can't stay awake all night on Christmas Eve. You'll sleep through opening presents. Well, I won't get any presents from Santa if he doesn't get my list. Besides, I'd rather see the guy in person. I always wondered what he kind of looked like. You've seen photos of him, right, Molly? Yes, but does he actually look like that? I just stay up too. All night long is he Santa. Yeah, baby Kira, come on, we can do this. Molly, just sit down so I can read the story, and then put on your pajamas. Okay. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Except for me! I'll be stirring, I'll be like, hey Santa, why are you coming down the fireplace right now? Do you want to burn your booty or something? Why don't you use the front door? Molly, sit down, you're ruining the story! Okay, I'm just saying, I'm going to be stirring. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be here. The children were all nestled in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to be nestled in my bed. Second of all, what is a sugar plum? Why am I going to be dreaming about that? I'm going to be dreaming about Roblox games. Ooh, a new iPhone. Molly, ay 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 ay. Okay. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. I won't have to spring from my bed. I'll just go out front and be like, Yo, Santa, what's up? I can't believe she's even my sister sometimes. Molly, go get your pajamas on. You're not going to read it? Ha, ha, ha. I'll read it after you put your pajamas on. I need a break. I'm going to put my pajamas on, but I'm not going to sleep. I'm not doing it. I'm not putting my pajamas on. You can read that poem without me because I'm not putting my... I'm not going to bed. I'll put my pajamas on, but I'm not going to sleep. I'll get in my bed, but I'm not going to sleep. Yeah, that's my final compromise. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. I love that. That's the best Christmas story. Okay, who wants a Christmas cookie? Me! I want a Christmas cookie! Give me a Christmas cookie! Give me a Christmas cookie! Actually, I'll raise both of my hands if it means I get two. I want two cookies! Two cookies! Two! Molly, one cookie. And then we have to leave the rest for Santa. Why does he get all of our cookies? We're the ones that baked them. Because it's nice if he's going to leave you all these presents. Well, I'm just saying, he's, he's super fat because he eats too many cookies. Molly! Oh, don't say smidge sm Yeah, I can't even talk! I'm so scared that you're going to make Santa run away from our house! Mom! Molly's going to make Santa run away! No one's making Santa run, run away. Molly, sit down and here, eat your cookie. Mmm, that was a good gingerbread cookie. Mmm, I got chocolate chip. Well, good for you, but I like this snowman. Mmm, he's delicious and adorable. All right, girls, time for bed. You want Santa to come, right? Well, I'll go to bed, but I'm not falling asleep. Okay, Molly, <laughs> if you say so. It's very late. Come on, off to bed. Come on. Molly, don't you dare ruin Santa Claus coming to our house. What? I would never do that. I have to leave the light on, though, so I don't fall asleep. Molly, if, if you make it so Santa Claus doesn't come, I swear. Don't worry, Daisy. Santa's still going to come, and I'm going to watch him. Molly, aren't you sleepy? It's almost 1 a.m. Huh, what? <sighs> nope, not sleepy at all. I'm going to stay awake till Santa gets here. The whole night, actually. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Who left the fireplace on? Oh, that burns my butt! Ho, 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 ho! Must have been that naughty Molly. <laughs> Let's see what kind of sugary treats they left for me. <laughs> What's this? Tacos and a burrito? Where's my cookies? Oh, look, there's a letter. I wonder what it says. Dear Santa, in case I accidentally fell asleep, which I shouldn't have, I wanted you to know that this taco and burrito was made especially for you. 
You're looking a little chubby around the waistline, and too many cookies is bad for you. So try eating a taco. It has protein. Ho, 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 ho. That crazy Molly. Um, and, well, here's my Christmas wish list. If you think I've been nice enough and not on the naughty list. But I should be awake to give you this in person. Ho, 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 ho. She thought she could stay awake to see the magic of Santa. Oh, maybe another year, Molly. But I will leave Daisy, Molly, and baby Kira lots of little treasures under their Christmas tree. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas! Molly! Molly, wake up! It's morning! Santa came! Santa came! Huh? What? 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 What do you mean it's morning? Are you pranking me? No, I'm not. It's six o'clock in the morning, Molly. You fell asleep and you missed Santa again this year. What? No! Oh, man! Oh! But don't worry, Molly. He left you lots of presents. He did? He... He did? He found my Christmas list! That's right, Molly. Now come on, let's go see what you got! Yeah! Let's go! It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas! Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! It's Christmas! Okay, Molly, I'd like you to do problem number three from your workbook up here on the board in front of the class. Um, eh, uh, Come on, Molly, quit stalling. It's your turn at the board. If Michael has six eggs and Luke takes one egg and drops it and Sarah takes three eggs and cooks breakfast and Mitchell has an egg for his dog, how many eggs does... is there left? Um, uh, uh... Molly, this is a review question. You should know this already. It's the end of the school year. Did you study at all? Um, well, um, no. Molly! Okay, that's it. You have detention. Oh, man. I need to find a new book to read. Ooh, what's this? A joke book? <laughs> Sounds exactly like the book I'd like to read. What do you get when you cross a snail with a porcupine? A slowpoke! <laughs> Excuse me, did you not read the sign? This is the library. Shh! <laughs> this is a funny joke, a slowpoke! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read another. Um, what do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. Excuse, excuse me, this is the library. Why are you so loud? Um, well, why did you put a joke book in the library? Because if, if you don't want me to be laughing and loud, you shouldn't have put a joke book in here. That's it. I'm writing you up. Oh, boy, not again. Ooh, hi, Matilda. Ooh, the pizza looks delicious today. Only one slice per student. Okay, lunch lady, okay. Hey, what's that over there? What's what? <laughs> Two slices for me, oh yeah. Mommy, she said only one. Who took the extra slice of pizza? Was that you? Molly, I'm writing you up. Oh, man. Mom, I'm home from school. Oh, just who I wanted to see. Why, did you make me cupcakes? Oh, you missed me so much, didn't you, Mom? Molly, I have so many slips from so many people here. You were naughty in the library. You you didn't do your math work. You, you were naughty in the lunchroom. Like, Molly, I have no choice but to take away your phone. My phone? You wouldn't dare. Molly, I am your mother, and I'm not your friend. I, 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 I want to be your friend, but when you're naughty like this, I, I have to be your mother. So I'm sticking by my word. You're grounded from your phone for two weeks. What? Two weeks. Um, okay, Mom. I understand. Wait, what? What? You do? Yeah, I gotta go poo-poo. See you later. Okay. I'm glad we had this talk. Try not to get in trouble. Yeah, right. Trouble's my middle name. 
it's boring to be in the bathroom without your phone. That's okay. Mom will never know I'm playing on it. <laughs> Mom will never know if I'm playing Roblox in the bathroom. She'll just think I have a stomach ache. <laughs> Molly? <gasps> Molly! I thought, ew, it smells funny in here. I know, I had to go to the bathroom. Well, but you're on your phone. I said you were grounded. Oh, man, you outsmarted me, Mom. Well, I am pretty smart, you know. And and give me your phone right now. Oh, Mom. I'm going to lock your phone so you can't play Roblox for two weeks. Only emergency calls. That's what I'm locking it for. Oh, Mom, this is terrible. Why do you have to be so smart? Would you rather I was a dumb mom? Um, yes. That's precisely what I wish you would be. Molly, what is that? It's spell book? Where did you get that? The library. Apparently joke books aren't allowed, so I looked up this spell book on the computer and it said they had it in stock in the library, so I rented it. <laughs> now watch this. Alakazam! Alakazee! When I say dumb, that's what you'll be! What? What's happening? I feel... I feel... Exactly the same, Molly. That's a ridiculous spell book. Okay, if you say so, Mom. Molly, uh, you ate all the treats in the refrigerator and left a huge mess in the sink. Why don't you do these dishes? I would, Mom, but um, I'm too dumb. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> I don't even remember. Whoa, Mom. Are you okay? I think so. <laughs> I was, uh, what was I talking about? I can't remember. Uh, I think you said you were going to do the dishes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do I turn on the water faucet? <laughs> uh, you, ju you just click right here like that. Oh, <laughs> good thing my daughter's so smart. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, Mom. As soon as she's done with these dishes, I'll say the word smart so she goes back to being normal. <laughs> she's a little crazy like this. Smart! Whoa, that was weird. I could have swore I asked Molly to do the dishes. <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. Mom won't mind if I get on Roblox on the computer. She just said I was grounded on my phone. <laughs> Loophole! Molly, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be playing Roblox. You're supposed to be doing your math homework. Um, well, I can't because it's too hard. And I'm too dumb. <laughs> what are you talking about, Molly? That math homework's probably super easy. <laughs> oh, yeah? You want to give it a try? What's one plus one? <laughs> well, one plus one what? Okay, one apple plus one apple equals how many apples? <laughs> Five! Oh my gosh. Did I get it right? <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Not even close. Well, <laughs> if you don't understand your math, and neither do I, I guess you can't do it then. That's right, Mom. <laughs> I'm going to go watch some TV. Uh, but don't worry, Mom. You're really smart. Hmm. That's strange. Why am I standing in front of the computer? I'm not feeling very good today. Hi, everybody. I'm home. Oh, no. Here comes my annoying sister. She ruins everything. Marty, what exactly are you talking about? I'm the world's best sister. <laughs> yeah, right. Go away. I'm a little busy. Um, Molly, why don't you help me set the table for dinner? I would, Mom, but I'm feeling a little dumb. What? What did you say? Dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> what was I just doing? <laughs> oh, I think I was making dinner, but I don't know how. How do, you, how do you boil water? I'm not really sure. What is going on with Mom? Molly, did you cast a spell on Mom? Yeah, so what if I did? She decided to ground me for my phone. Probably because you deserved it. You got written up five million times today. <gasps> Molly, this is evil. Go away. I don't need you to tell me what's good and bad. Oh, boy. I know how to solve this. 
Mom, you put the water on the stove and turn on the stove. And then you have to set the table. Oh, <laughs> you're right. I almost forgot. <laughs> you're smart, Mom. You'll figure it out. Whoa, what, what's going on with me? Marley, I'm going to give you one more chance to not do this anymore and reverse the spell. Nah, um, wait. Uh, even if I wanted to, I, I don't know where the book is. That's because I have it. Daisy, give me back my spell book right now. I don't think so. Mom's rubble and your glue. Whatever you've cursed her with bounces off her and sticks to you. How's that for a spell? Dum, 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 dum. Whoa, I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, wait, where did everybody go? Well, is anybody home? <laughs> Molly, are you feeling okay? <laughs> Molly, can you speak English or human even? I don't know. <laughs> I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh, Molly. You're drooling on yourself. Oh my goodness, we better take you to the hospital. I think you might have a concussion. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're definitely messed up. <laughs> This snack is delicious. Mm. Molly, do you know when Bookie's gonna get here for the sleepover? Yeah, she should be here any minute. I just made some delicious popcorn for all of us to have during the movie. I can't wait to see her. It feels like I haven't seen her in so long. Uh, Daisy, we just saw her at school like an hour ago. I know, but an hour is so long when it's your best friend. Yeah, that's true. Hello? Hey, Molly, it's Brookie. Oh, hey, Brookie. Mm. Sorry, I'm going to put you on speaker because I'm still eating some Doritos. Um, Molly, I have to tell you something. Um, it's kind of bad news. Wait, what happened? Did you get a flat tire on your bike on the way over? No, Molly, I can't come to the sleepover. Say what? You can't come to the sleepover? Why? I just made popcorn. We're about to watch a movie. What's going on, Molly? What's wrong? It's Brookie. She can't come to the sleepover. What? Why? Well, guys, um, I sort of failed my test, and my mom said I have to stay home and study so that I don't keep failing science. She failed a science test? My best friend? Neville. Surely your mom must know that <laughs> sleepovers are way more important than science tests. Sorry, Molly. <laughs> that didn't work with my mom. Of course I didn't! Science is life! You need to stay home and study. Oh, Brookie, I'm really going to miss having our sleepover, but... Guess we'll cancel it. Maybe this weekend? Yeah. Okay. Bye, Brookie. Man, I'm so bummed right now. Hey, I've arrived. Huh? What? Brookie? Sarah, what are you doing here? Let me in, please. Okay, here you go. Come on in. What What do you want? I'm here for the sleepover. But wait, what? Uh, sleepover? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. I know you're having a sleepover with Brookie. She told me about it. Ugh, oh, Brookie! And I decided that I'm coming to your sleepover because, well, um, yeah, they're vacuuming all the rugs at my house and it's really smelly. And also, I'm the only person that can be cool at your sleepover, so. So basically, you don't want to stay at your house because they're vacuuming the rugs and they smell? So you're coming to my house? Yeah, so get over it. I'm here for the sleepover. Well, the sleepover's canceled because Brookie can't come. But I'm here, and I'm the life of the party, so I say the sleepover's happening. Oh, boy. See with the bully at our house for a whole 24 hours. I might die. So what do we do first? And don't pick something lame. Well, we were gonna eat popcorn and watch movies. Is that too lame for you? No, I guess that'll do, depending on what movie it is. I've got the popcorn, and the movie's about to start. What is this? Oh, it's the secret life of raccoons. Are you serious right now? Yeah, this is the movie we want to watch, Sarah. Don't you want to go home? No, I just think we should do something else. Like, how about we talk about your new neighbor? A new neighbor? We don't have a new neighbor. 
Yeah, somebody moved into the old Smith Mansion. That place? That place is so haunted. It, it's, it's... Ah! There's somebody standing in the window and they look like a ghost! Ah! Oh my gosh, I always knew that place was haunted. Yee! Whatever, someone actually moved in there. There's no such thing as ghosts. If you think there's no such thing as ghosts, go look out there right now. There is definitely somebody standing in the window, and they're pale and scary looking. That's just the girl who lives there. She's going to our school, you know. Wait, what? Guys, come inside. The ghost might get you. No, he. She's saying it wasn't a ghost. That's a. It's a. It's a girl that's gonna be in our school. Yeah, her name is Wednesday. Wednesday Adams. Whoa, I wonder if she's nice. No, of course not. She's a total freak. She's not nice at all. How do you know? Have you met her? No, I just heard rumors. Well, you can't trust rumors. Well, then, I have our first um, game for this sleepover. You do? What is it? Who cares, Daisy? She's a bully. She's going to make us do something silly, ridiculous, make fools of ourselves. You have to go over and talk to that ghost girl. Seriously? But what if she really is a ghost? She's not, Molly! Ugh, just go say hi to her. I don't have to do what you say, Sarah. This is my house. Well, you're a total loser, and I'm going to tell everyone at school you're a loser. Okay, fine. Ugh. I can't believe Sarah the bully's at my sleepover, and now i got to go talk to this ghost girl. It's going to be so creepy. Whoa, Sarah, nice car. Her dad must have got that for her. Hello? Is, is, is anybody home? Oh, I should ring the doorbell. <coughs> Hello? Okay, I guess I should just go in. I know I saw her in the window. Is that what I think it is? Ah! 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 Oh my god! You just scared me half to death! Wait, wait, are you a ghost? No, I'm not a ghost. <sighs> Although sometimes I feel like one. And I'm okay with that. Um, okay. Um, hi. I'm Molly. <laughs> and I live across the street. I know who you are. I know who all of you are. Whoa, creepy. What are you like, Sherlock Holmes or what? I just am really smart at looking people up and knowing things. Oh, well, okay. Um, my, well, she's not really my friend. She's kind of a bully who invited herself to my sleepover. Anyway, she told me your name is Wednesday Adams. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's my name. I can't believe you moved into the old Smith mansion. It's been abandoned. There's not even electricity on in here. That's the way we like it. Oh, um, okay. Well, nice meeting you. Buddy, Buddy, what happened? What happened? Yeah, loser, what happened? Quit calling me a loser or you can't come to my sleepovers anymore. And you'll have to go home. Okay, whatever. What happened? Well, she said her name was Wednesday Adams and, and, and she came out of a, um, what are those called? Not a crypt, um, not a, not a, what is that called? A, a coffin. Say what? She was just joking, right? No, there's an actual coffin in her house. Well, Daisy, your turn to introduce yourself. And this time, invite her to the sleepover. <laughs> what? I I'm not doing that. I'll go do it. Oh, you guys are such chickens. If you wanted to know more about her, all you had to do was go over and talk to her. Wednesday? Wednesday, it's it's Molly. I I I'm sorry I ran out so quick. I guess I was just a little overwhelmed. Wednesday? Maybe she's upstairs. This place is creepy. Wednesday? Wednesday? Where did she go? She like disappeared. <laughs> nah, she's not in the bathroom. Okay, maybe she really is a ghost, guys, because I can't find her anywhere. I'm not getting in that coffin. I'm not doing it. Okay, maybe I will. Wednesday, are you in here? Wednesday? Hmm. Can't find her. She really is a ghost. Ah, a ghost girl. Daisy, Sarah, what happened? Molly, what's wrong? She disappeared. She's a ghost. I knew it. Oh, whatever. Daisy, you should go see if she's there. Me for real? Yeah, I'm not going back over there. Creepy. Hello? Is anybody home? Wednesday, my name is Daisy. I live across the street. Great. Someone with a super cheery name like Daisy. Blech. Oh, there you are! Oh, hi. What are you? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm just about to sacrifice this stuffed animal to the fire. Whoa, Wednesday! That's not very nice. You don't mind, Mr. Monkey, do you? 
Um, alright, okay. Um, we were gonna invite you to our sleepover. What? A sleepover? Isn't that just like where a bunch of annoying girls get together and giggle and watch movies? Uh, yeah, but we were gonna watch a movie about the secret life of raccoons. Oh, that actually sounds interesting. Okay, I'll come. Sarah, she's not gonna find that ghost girl and invite her to the sl Uh, guys? Yeah, you're back. What happened? Did you see the ghost girl? It's... It's not a ghost girl, but she's kind of weird, I will say. But she's coming to our sleepover. She's coming right now. Oh, um. Whoa, you actually succeeded, Daisy. I'm sort of impressed. Hey, everyone. I'm Wednesday. Oh, well, like I said, I'm Molly. This is Daisy. And this is Sarah. She's kind of a bully. Whatever. But yeah, I am kind of a bully, so don't get on my bad side. Sarah, you don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> don't. Get on my bad side. Uh, yeah, I think you made your match there, Sarah. So, anyway, guys, let's watch the Secret Life of the Raccoons movie. Uh, you cool with that Wednesday? Sure. Do you have any popcorn? Totally. It's super good, too. Ugh, you guys look like you're actually having fun at this sleepover. Who wants to watch a movie about raccoons? We do, Sarah. And if you don't like it, goodbye. Yeah, Sarah. Goodbye. Wow, Wednesday, you're a lot cooler than I thought. Yeah, Wednesday. At first I thought, well, she's kind of weird. But you know what? You can be weird and also awesome. Yeah, being weird is like my thing. I love weird people. <laughs> Here, have some popcorn. And um, I also have other snacks like Doritos. Do you eat those? Yeah, I'm a teenager. I eat all sorts of snacks. Oh, cool. Then we're going to get along just fine. Music